everyone we are here to solve questions from kangaroo maths 2019 benjamin let's start with so the question says karina has started to draw a cat see then add some eyes now you look at the figure which she has come here how come the nose will be circle from triangle so cancel this here it goes inverted so cancel this here it goes big so cancel this now b and c but in c the ears appear to be fat so cancel this so our option comes b right let's go to next question so when you go to next question here the mayas use points and line to write numbers a so here you see 5 and 1 10 and 1 10 and 2 Here five, ten, fifteen plus two, seventy. We got the answer. No need to go for it. Now there are fourteen girls and twelve boys. So total number of students are how much? Twenty-six students. So half of them are girls. That means thirty. Half of them go for walk. Means thirteen students out of them go for walk. Now if you consider worst case scenario. so when you consider worst case scenario that means all of them will be boys because if we have to consider minimum number of girls so there will be 12 boys and one girls right everyone hope i am clear so let's go to next question so here it says that a digital clock shows the following time what time it exactly same digits appear after first time after 2019 so 2091 digital clock will never so 91 this one 9 because after 29 will not come 9 2 so definitely 21 will come 0 9 same digits right now here you say the sum of the dots on opposite side of an ordinary number is 7 opposite sides that is the catch So here you see adjacent side seven, adjacent side seven, adjacent side seven, adjacent side seven. So this will be our answer. Hope I am clear. So let's go to next slide. So here, which of the following geometrical figure does not appear? You can see a triangle. You can see a square. you can see a hexagon you can see a dodecagon see if you see very clearly this is 12 side but you cannot see the octagon right in an enclosure there is a group of kangaroos if you add up the ages of all kangaroos you get 36 years and after 2 years how much is that time after 2 years what is the difference between all the kangaroo 60 minus 36 that is 24 years so by difference constant method ages will remain constant no all the kangaroos after 2 years so you divide by 2 so there will be 12 kangaroos in the enclosure right so let's go to the next question and there we will see what we have to do So here we see Nora wants to color in exactly one two by two square. So this is one square. This is another. This is another. This is another. So four this side. Now let's use another color, and then you see how other possibilities are there. This could be one. This could be one. This could be one, and this could be one. So four again. So total eight. Now look at this question. So, what are the numbers visible to you? Two forty-three. This is not visible, and this is not visible. I put x and y, and the sum is given as a twenty-six. So, if you add seven, six, thirteen, sixteen, so carried over one, 
4, 5, 6, 7. So 12 minus 7 gives you 5. That means x is 5. Now here there's one carryover. So 2, 3, 4. 8 minus 4, 4. So y will be 4. Some of these sums, 9. So hidden digit sums will be 9. Let's go to another question. The six smallest odd natural numbers are written on the side of a die. Six is smallest. So we start with one, three, five, seven, nine. Right? One, two, three, four, five, and eleven. So there are six numbers. Now you see Tony rolled the die three times. Three times he is rolling. So let's go by the option. So 1, 1, 1 will give you 3. Now you can make 19 as well. 9, 7, 16 plus 3, 19. 21 possible. 11 plus 9, 20 plus 1, 21. Similarly, you can make 11 plus 11 plus 7, you get 29. But you cannot get 35 out of any three numbers written above. Let's go to next. Pia has a folding yard stack consisting of 10 equally long pieces. So these are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 long pieces. So if you count it, all are having 10. Okay. Except here, like if you find the joints. So we have nothing to do with the joints, but this will be. These ones we can overlap, but here we cannot. So A will be the right option. Let's go to the new questions. So here, which of the following five has the biggest proportion of plants area? Don't go on counting, the, just work on your fraction. So okay. here you can see half, one, two, three, four, five, so five by nine. So see always square, so next will be 16, next will be 25, next will be 36. That you can fill it. And here, so it will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It will be half here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, thirteen. And here it will be 18. When it is like uh, even number, this will be half. And when it is odd, this will be just a middle number, right? So here it will be half, here it will be half, and half. So we cancel these three, half will not come. Now you compare 5 by 9 and 13 by 25, which is bigger. Just follow the butterfly method, 5 times 25 and 13 times 9. This come 125. This comes 117, which is bigger, 125. So 5 by 9 is bigger. So answer is B. Like that, you can work out very, very easily. Now here you see, in a witch's garden, there are 30 animals. Okay, there are dog, cat, and mice. If they say there are equal number of animals and there are 30 animals, so, so 30 divided by 3 is so 10. Okay. So all we assume are 10. Now which is changes 6 dogs. So earlier they are asking start with. So this must be plus 6. And uh, 6 dogs into 6 cats. Right. So this will be subtracted. And next line 5 cats. So this will be plus 5. And this will be minus 5. So how much it is coming? This 16, is coming 16, 9, nine and five. 5. So start with cats will be how much? Nine. 9. So let's go ahead. Max built tower made up of little 1, 1, 1, 1, 1 into 2. So you can see this will be 1 and this will be 2. So here is 3. Here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And here. One, two, three, four, five. Sorry, five here. One, two, three, four, five. Here 10. Here no, we can no 10. So let's start. So here, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
Yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So see the pattern, 3, 6, 10, 15. Here are 3, here are 4, here are 5. So next will be 6, so 21. And next will be 7, so 28. So our blocks will be this one. This blocks we have to answer. Now if you look at the height of this, so this is 2, this is 1. So 3. If you look here, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 5. If you look here, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Similarly here, 8. And similarly here, 9. Because I can make out 2, 1, 2, 1. So next will be how much? 11. So 11. So that's it. Let's go to next question. So, Brigitte folds a piece of paper twice. Uh, Brigitte folds a square of paper twice and subsequently cut it along the two lines as shown in the picture. So, like this, right? So, I'll suggest you go by just by practically doing, take a piece of paper, fold it and do it and you will get just nine. Just do it, experiment it yourself. You can easily get the number nine. Similarly here, if you see by clear observation, drawing the net of the cube, you can easily see this is going to form a D. So D will be the answer. This is just by mere observation, nothing to be very difficult. Now here it is written, a natural number greater than zero is written on each side of the die. All product of opposite numbers are of the same value. So see, 15, 5, 10, if you go by LCM of these numbers, what will be the LCM? 30. So this multiplied by 2, this multiplied by 6, this multiplied by 3. So what is the smallest possible sum of all 6 numbers? So just see, 15, 10, 5, 2, 6, 3. So here it is how much? 30, 32. And 32 plus 9, that gives you 41. That is the smallest possible sum. Now here you see four equally heavy black pearls. One white pearl and a piece of iron weighing 30 gram are placed, which is balanced. You can see this is balanced. So can we cancel this and this? Because both are left hand side and right hand side ball we can cancel. So can you say two black plus one white equal to 30 grams. Now they are asking what? Six blacks and three white. So just multiply it by three. So your answer comes 90 grams. Hope everything is clear to you all. So let's go to next question. Robert makes five statement. One of which is wrong. My son Basil has three sisters. So my son Basil, he has a son Basil, which has three sisters. S1, S2, S3. Here it says my daughter N. N, he has two brothers. She has two brothers. So B1 and B2. Okay. My daughter N, N, has two sisters, S1, S2. Now you see, my son Basil has two brothers. So here it say Basil, same thing, no? My son Basil has two brothers. So here, Basil has two brothers. So you can draw the diagram like this. Basil had three sisters, S1, S2, S3. And her daughter N has two brothers. So one will be Basil only, one will be B1, right? And then my daughter N has two sisters. So S1, S2 and N himself, herself will be S3. So I have five children, right? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. And my son Basil has two brothers. So here it's come like my son Basil has three sisters, agreed. My daughter Anne has two brothers. 
my daughter Anne has two brothers, agreed. My daughter Anne has two sisters, agreed. I have five children, agreed. So this is not correct, right? Let's go to another question. 20. Benjamin writes a number into the first circle. He then carries out the calculation. So first time, let's take two. 2 plus 1, 3, 3 plus 1, 4, 4 times 3, 12, 12 plus 2, 14, 14 times 2, 28. So how many numbers are divisible by 3? 1, 2. Let's take now odd number. Try 1, 2, 3, 3 times 3, 9, 9 plus 2, 11, and 11 times 2, 22. So see, again you are getting one here and one here so every time you get two you can try with any randomly number and it will give you the answer right let's take another question emily takes selfies with his eight cousins each one of the eight cousins are on two or three of the pictures they are exactly five cousins on each of the pictures so if she takes two then how much it will be 16 because eight times two equal to 16 if C takes 3, then how much it will be? 24. But exactly 5 cousins are taken. So the number which will be divisible between 60 and 24, uh, which will be divisible by 5, is just 20. So how many selfies does Emily take? So 20 is a multiple of 5. 20 is a multiple of 5. Right? So 20 divided by 4, sorry, 20 divided by 5 because 5 cousins will give you 4. So answer will be 4 straight away. Right? This was easy. So because see, they are saying 2 or 3, so you take 2 and 3, but exactly how much take 5 cousins. Now here the cardboard is folded up into 2 into 1 into 1 box, means the cuboidal shape box. Which of the figure does not show the box? If you try to move the figure here, then you can see this and this will be always white. So white, 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 white. Straightforward B will be the answer. Right? So let's go to next question. So Jati and Willy throw balls at two identical built pyramids each made up of 15 teams. How many? 15. Letty hit 16 and get 25 points. Let's count the score of total how much getting. So 9 plus 4 plus 5 plus 8 plus 6 plus 1 plus 9 plus 7 plus 6. So if you count this, 18 18 plus 8, 26, 26 plus 6, 32, 32 plus 10, 42, and 42 plus 30. So 55 plus 25, that must be the total score. So 80. And then, will he hit 14? How much point did will he get? So now how much is remaining? So just add 4, 7, 8, 6, 14, 16, and here you get 9, 7, 16, and then 26. So this comes 20, and 20 plus 33. So 53, if you subtract 27. Did I mean any mistake? So 4, 7, So yeah, 5 plus 3, 8. So I got a mistake, that's why. So 54, so 54, so 26. So score will be 26. That's how our answer will be. So that's all for today. Thank you, everyone. Take care. Bye, if you bye. like. Thank Just you. please subscribe to my channel by and pressing click the bell, the bell icon. icon in the